Hi guys, today we would like to talk about the IL-2-1946 Startup Debugger. That Startup Debugger is a tool which gets uh, shipped with the latest versions of the IL-2 selector for IL-2-1946. The reason for the Startup Debugger to exist is that sometimes it happens that when you mod your game or install updates, patches or something like that, the game simply refuses to start. All that happens when you double click on IL2 FB Exe is that you will see the splash screen coming up briefly, but the game will not start and you will not see anything being logged to the log files like log.list or something like that. In this case you would be completely lost because when you ask someone for support he will ask for log files, you don't have no log files and all you can say is well my game doesn't start and that doesn't help the supporters because they don't know what happened to your game. This is where the startup debugger kicks in. You can find a description on how to use the, the startup debugger when you enter the following URL to your browser bit.ly slash IL2-1946 SD for Startup Debugger. This takes you straight to the post inside the selector release thread where the Startup Debugger gets described here. So what you do in order to use the Startup Debugger is you will find a cmd.executable file here together with the other executables in your folder and you open up that CMD file and here you can now paste exactly the text which you find here in the post. Just copy that text and paste it here and then hit enter. In order to paste it by the way just right click into that CMD exe file. So now click enter the splash screen comes up and now you actually see some log contents which happen before the log files are being created by the game. This is why you don't find it in the log.lst file. But using this startup debugger, you will now find a new file inside your IL2 game folder, which is called startuplog.txt. Just scroll down and you will find it here. And this file contains exactly what we have just seen here in the console. And these are the log contents which are so utterly important for the supporters when you open up a thread on our SAS forums and ask for help. Just select all, copy this and post it in your support help request thread. That's all.